It's... Well... I've never had a real close experience with cancer before. Don't worry, it's not me, but... Or one of my children of... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I have my share fair of uh, stuff going on in my life, as we all do, but cancer is something that is that always happened to other people. Somehow it didn't, it didn't, it didn't resonate with me. And I'm on my way to a fundraiser for Kika. I will put a, a link below. Uh, Kika stands for Kinder Kanker Vrij, which they help children with cancer. And the story is that a friend of mine, her son, which I used to teach as a one of the Kung Fu kids, beautiful young boy, a long blonde hair, very polite, he's a sweetheart, he's the, I mean, he's the poster boy of every son a parent would want, very, I mean, and his mother is, has, has brought him up, I mean, she, she's very de devoted to him, and on his eighth birthday, on the exact same day, he had his first chemo. I mean, leukemia, the good kind, ALL, which is it has eighty percent chance of recovering. So that's the very good part. But it's 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 painful, and it, he's miserable. His beautiful long hair is fallen out, and uh, his mother is an absolute horror, of course. But it, but that's when I get very selfish. It came very close. I mean, in my worst case scenarios, I have, I've replaced his face with my children's faces and I just broke. What would I do if it happened to me? And that's, of course, a very selfish thought and I'm sorry, I can't help it, but it came very close and it did a lot of things and it brought a lot of pain and, 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 and a lot of feeling of helplessness and unfair is just eight year old, real old and all these horrible people walk around in the world and he doesn't even have a chance to experience his life yet and all of that. I mean, we know this. So I decided to do what I can do, which is grab my camera and tell a story or do something. Do I had to do something. I'm not even doing it because but I had to do something with my feeling of helplessness. I wanted to be a part of it, just to be able to process what's going on and process these feelings. So I'm on my, on my way to uh, to share the dance company has a celebration of three, four hours of dancing. We're doing sponsors, looking for sponsors. We're trying to sell t-shirts with his name on it and uh, try to so, yeah, it's a fundraiser, so we're trying to get some money to donate to Kika so we can help other children uh, with this horrible thing. So that's what I am. Don't worry, it's not going to be that kind of a vlog. It's not going to be very... Uh, it's just an introduction and from now on I think you'll see a lot of uh, happy children dancing and everything. And I will we'll put a link on the screen or below or up, I don't know where you can find it but please just look around this screen for it so whatever you can do do grab a pen write something make a photograph donate just be a part of it because it's it's very real it's very very real I can tell you I got this feeling it's in my bone it goes electric baby when I turn it on all through my city, all through my home We find up no ceiling when we in the zone I got that sunshine in my pocket That good soul in my feet That hot blood in my body when it drops Ooh, oh, I can't take my eyes off it It's so phenomenally Come on, like the way we rock it So don't stop I 
Hoe oud ben jij? Uh, 9. 9. Wat wil je worden later als je groot bent? Uh, danser. Wat vind je het allerlekkerste om te eten? Uh, een ijsje. Een ijsje. En later als je zo groot bent als mama en papa, wat wil je dan doen? Wat wil je worden? Een stadionvoetballer. Een stadionvoetballer? Wauw! Woe! 7. 7. En wat heb je vanochtend gegeten? Uh, Boterham. Hallo! Vinden jullie ijsjes lekker? We hebben hier massages, we hebben hier een sminktafel. We hebben binnen hebben we dansworkshops, we hebben buiten dansworkshops. Heb je een bloemetje? Een vlinder. Een vlinder, dat is mooi. Wat willen jullie worden later als jullie groot zijn? Ik wil uh, bij McDonald's werken. Uh, ik wil priester worden in de kerk. Uh, En jij, Noetje? Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Hoeveel jaar zijn jullie? Uh, ik ben vier jaar! Vier, goed zo! Voor Pika en onze eigen Sameo, die nu in het ziekenhuis tegen leukemie aan het vechten is. So, we are here right now, trying to do this thing for this little guy. And as we speak, he's been... He has to have an emergency surgery on his back to stop some leakage of his spinal fluid or something so as of right now he's in the hospital we're here having fun in the sun Ik heb nog geen goede einde voor vandaag. Help me eens. Hoe moeten we dit eindigen? Hoe moeten we deze vlog eindigen? Oh, deze vlog. Ja. Vlog. Vlog, eindig. Ga dan. We hebben dit gedaan voor Sameo. Ja. En het was een beetje dubbel op. Dubbel. Ja. Maar we hebben denk ik wel veel opgebracht. Ja? Voor samen met ieder gezameld. Voor een leuke goede step. In plaats ja. van een rolstoel. Ja man. En als je mee wil doen, de link ergens beneden voor Kika. Doe wat je kan. Oké, okay, is dit een goede einde? Bye bye. Zwaai, zwaai.